Alright, welcome back again to another episode of Dumpster Fires at the Atomic Shop. So this week we have the new shelter, Triumph Terrace Shelter, which, if I'm not mistaken, is kind of like... Yeah. A walled version of Sanctuary, in a way. From Fallout 4 is what it reminds me of. It looks big. Has some exterior stuff going on outside the wall. We've got the Triumph Terrace bundle, which includes the uh, prefab house, the shelter, these new uh, resource gathering extractors. There's the shell. There's the uh, building itself. Like I said, it reminds me of uh, Fallout 4 a lot. We've got an ammo storage box, a uh, Vault Tech scrap box, which is a new skin for that. Uh, I guess they call these things extractors, technically. But it, it's a resource gathering extractor, it's no big deal. But you get the bundle, it's got all of it in it. We've got the uh, Marshmallow T-shirt, or Marshall Mallow T-shirt for the new event that's going on currently. And then we've got the new Vault Tech Survival Tent, which is technically built to look like it floats. If you're on Fallout first, that is. This one right here is just a general... Uh, they have a new event going on, which I'll show you in just a minute. So, out of the old stuff, if you haven't bought it yet, pick up the Death's Breath skin for your Flamers. I, I love that thing. It's like my favorite Flamer skin. If you don't know it, the uh, Ice Glow display here um, is a display case. So, if you put food in there, it will spoil over time. Uh, we've got... The lever action rifle skin, a few power armor skins. If you haven't got the medical scrubs and you're looking for it, it's in there. The Vault Tech bundle that is like the mascot head and a bunch of other little odds and ends. Like the uh, power armor skins, the power armor head pieces and helmets, the, the Vault Tech paint job for your rifle. Well, actually, I think it's a 50 cal. I mean, it's it's not a bad little bundle. It's usually, like, it's just not horrible. Um, Ranger jumpsuits on sale. The Daredevil bodysuit, if you want to be Evil Knievel, is on sale. And free things in Nuka Cola Twist. Uh, looks like we got an orange shag carpet on sale. And then this should be leaving soon. So, uh, you might want to pick up the Fortress Kit if you haven't already. Fallout First members. I don't know why they have this members only thing up. Like this, because I'm pretty sure that, uh... I mean, unless those things are, like, limited to Fallout First buyers. Which would be kind of a rare deal. But it's possible. Alright. So we're going to jump into game. I'm going to jump on my friend PT's server. We're going to see exactly what's going on on here. And we'll look at the... Uh... Okay, so the current event that's going on is a Wasteland-themed event. They want you to explore the new area of the map, Skyline Valley. So, 90% of the stuff that they assign you to do is going to only be completable in Skyline Valley or in areas uh, Skyline Valley adjacent, such as the uh, uh, Vault 63, that kind of stuff. Like, I could assume that you'd be able to take at least some pictures of some of the stuff that they want in Vault 63, and that's the other thing you're definitely going to need is the camera if you don't have it already. Um... Which it's easy to get. But if you haven't done it yet, I'll show you real quick what to do. Okay. So let's go ahead and activate this camp because it's close by. Uh, 
And we'll go over here and look at the challenges for the day. Kill five rad stags. Any flavor nuka cola, complete event, cook meals out of plants and fungi, craft a flare to tinkerer's bench, kill ten feral ghouls, uh, kill ten festive scorched. Under the weekly is what you want to go for your current new event. So you want to go for. Oh, nope, my mistake. It's under events. Um, so you want to get the uncharted. Alert. Hostile detected. Force scouts events under units. here so they want you to be wearing your marshmallow t-shirt and shorts the thing that they gave you at the beginning um, you'll have to go take an event take a picture at the slumber mill motel and you'll have to take a picture of a lost um, you just deploy a camp in the skyline valley region you have to cook a meal in your camp while wearing the outfit and they want you to make five of those since there are two weeks that means each week you'll get uh, one reward at the end of the week so if you complete the first week you get the I'd rather be camping poster if you complete the second week you get the Marshall Mallow uh, roasting stick and if you complete that's if you complete both weeks and then the other thing like where this one gives you the poster there's supposed to be a marshmallow and I'll go to my camp real quick so I can show you Marshall Mallow I don't know who comes up with this crap it's like it's, it's somebody that doesn't know that puns are cool but puns need to be good puns Yes, puns are puns, puns are punsies. All right. Yes, this is on the letter repository. It is a warehouse build. It's just literally built for doing everything that needs to be done. So we're gonna go under here and craft. The outfit should be underneath um, outfits here. You'll go down to here. It is. Make if one regret instantly that you made it. Gift, now, if you don't have the uh, to make exchanges, camera yet and you're looking for it, if you have access to the terminal, the my personal service, terminal, if you haven't claimed that out of the atomic shop, you inquiry. need to get that. You can go in here and you're going to look for the quest line in here under different, uh, there's like different things you can do, but it'll, they'll have, you can activate the quest from this terminal. And what you're going to do is look for the mysterious person, if I remember right, who needs... Basically, you're going to find their corpse, and you're going to have their list of uh, last things that they wanted to do in life that they didn't get to do with their wife. Let's see now. So this is the Marshmallow t-shirt. Not that big a deal. Not that good an outfit. Go over here. Due to the hardened nature of this unit's exterior, the action, shake belly like a bowl full of jelly, is unavailable. This camp hasn't been used time. in a while, so it's easier for me to just go ahead and make the. Uh, grilled rad stag than it is anything else. And that should give me my five foods. Now, on your map, if you've been down here into the new area, which this character hasn't, this is where the uh, what is it called again? slumber mill motel that's it right there that's what it represents at least um, this person just opened up their camp down there so I'm gonna hop down go to Planko Zero's camp 
the camp that we are probably just at will probably get moved. Not that it's a bad camp, but it's just one that I don't really care for. All right. So one of the things you're going to need is this. Because almost all of these challenges inadvertently always require you to have the ability to take photographs. It's just the way it works. Bethesda's real big on getting you to take pictures in their game with their camera. Now let's see. Since this character hasn't been here, there's a lot of things for him to learn about. One of the things you need to know is, in this area, one of the weird parts about this area of the map is, you can't really build on the roads. I don't know if that's because they intend to use it for the Blue Ridge quest line that they have coming up, where you're going to be able to run your own caravan that's going to come through this area. So they need the roads to be clear. But I wouldn't doubt it. Now then, whenever it tells you to take a picture of something, like the Lost, for instance, you can come down and you can find one and kill them and you can take a picture of them. Or you can take a picture of one that's alive. I recommend dead ones myself. Dead ones tend to work out better. Tends to go a little easier for you. See, right there? That's one right there. down then you just come over here go to the slumber mill hotel wait for it to pop on your map as a location take your picture check your thing make sure that it's already taken care of I need two more purified waters. This character doesn't currently have any open camp slots, I don't think. Eh, maybe I do. I don't honestly remember what that camp is, so let's take a look and see where it shows up at. Oh, yeah, I'm not, not getting rid of that one. Mm. Yeah, it's going to be the lead mine. looking for stupid shit. So this is the new tent that we get. As you can see, it's basically like an inflatable. It's kind of weird. It's actually got two workbenches in it. Well, technically three. It's by far my favorite out of the tents as far as the uh, appointments go, but like as far as the design goes, I don't know. But it makes as much sense as anything else, I suppose. Um, let's just see now. Where can I put this at?
Let's just go there. There we go. So. Now then, let's see what else is there. Oh yeah, purified water. Go back up here. That is not the one that I just placed, is it? Yep. I just broke my favorite camp. Hmm. All right. Well, that's all right. Needed a rebuild anyway. Let's see now. Last thing. Let's just go pick up these things real quick. camp I was going to tear down, but that's the one that died. Oh, uh, well. It happens. There we go. So that's all of the junk you need to do for the first week. To get the first week's things completed. If you haven't completed the score challenge yet, go ahead and do that. Get through the season as much as you can. I personally kind of hate this season. Mainly because between like 85, it's like they, they took a page out somewhere at the back end and made it go longer for some stupid reason. I don't know. I've got 140. This is the last thing I'm going to buy. Because I'll be honest with you, I don't give a shit about masks. And, uh, because I always wear this one. So, anyway, you guys have a good time, and uh, get done as best you can. Have fun, and uh, talk to you later.